Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to see summing, scaling, and averaging amplifier. At the end of this session, students will be able to describe and analyze some linear applications of operational amplifier in inverting and in non-inverting configurations. These are the contents of my today's presentation: inverting configuration and non-inverting configuration. Now let us see the inverting circuit configuration, non-inverting circuit configuration, and differential circuit configuration of operational amplifier can be used to implement applications such as summing amplifier, scaling amplifier, and averaging amplifier. Now let us go for the inverting circuit configuration of operational amplifier. The figure shows the circuit diagram for inverting amplifier with uh, multiple input voltages. What VA, VB, and VC are input voltages applied to inverting input of operational amplifier through resistor RA, RB, and RC. Current resulting due to a VA, VB, and VC are IA, IB, and IC respectively towards the node V2. Non-inverting input of operational amplifier is connected to ground through resistor ROM. ROM stands for offset minimizing resistor. It is used to minimize output offset voltage due to input bias current. The value of offset minimizing resistor ROM is parallel equivalent resistance of all resistors connected to other input that is inverting input of operational amplifier. Those are input resistors RA, RB, and RC, and feedback resistor RF. So output is taken across load resistor RL. RF is a feedback resistor, and RF, RB, and RC are input resistors. So to cancel out output offset voltage, uh, the resistor ROM is used. Since non-inverting input of uh, operational amplifier is connected to ground, so voltage at non-inverting input V1 is equal to zero. OPM always tries to equalize voltage at non-inverting and inverting. As voltage at non-inverting V1 is zero volt, uh, the voltage at inverting input, that is V2, is also zero volt. It acts as a virtual ground by the concept of virtual ground. Virtually grounded, inverting input is virtually grounded. So output voltage of this circuit is maybe summing uh, sum of the inputs or scaling of the input or averaging of the input voltages. Let us see first a summing amplifier. This circuit can work as a summing amplifier, scaling amplifier, and averaging amplifier depending on the relation between feedback resistor and feedback resistor RF and input resistor RA, RB, and RC. The equation for output voltage indicates the operation of the circuit. So working of this uh, inverting amplifier with multiple inputs, in this circuit three inputs are there, can be verified by getting the equation for output voltage. Use KCL at node V2. So current flowing towards at node uh, V2 is equal to IA plus IB plus IC equal to current flowing away from the node V2, that is current flowing through feedback resistor RF, that is IF. Since the input resistors of operational amplifier and open loop gain A of operational amplifier are very large, ideally infinity, so the input bias current IB is zero, approximately zero, and the voltage at non-inverting input V1 is equal to the voltage at inverting input that is equal to zero volts. So since inverting input of operational amplifier acts as a virtual ground by the concept of virtual ground, therefore the currents can be expressed in terms of voltage and resistance. The input currents, the voltage V upon RA plus VB upon RB plus VC upon RC is equal to minus VO upon RF. 
as a voltage at in inverting input v2 is zero volt so output voltage of the circuit is simplified to minus into bracket rf upon ra into va plus rf upon rb into vb plus rf upon rc into vc if in this circuit resistors rb ra equal to rb equal to rc equal to r then the the equation for output voltage becomes vo equal to minus rf upon r into bracket va plus vb plus vc this equation indicates that output voltage is gain times negative sum of all input voltages va vb and vc the gain of this uh, circuit is rf upon r hence this circuit operates as summing amplifier if the gain of this amplifier that is rf upon rf rf upon r is, e is set to 1 then the output voltage equation becomes vo equal to minus into bracket va plus vb plus vc so circuit acts as a adder circuit in which output voltage is the addition of three input voltages now let us see the, how this same circuit can work as a scaling amplifier if each input voltage is amplified by different factor or weighted differently at the output then the circuit works as a scaling amplifier this condition can be achieved by selecting ra rb and rc input resistors are of different value so the equation for output voltage of this circuit that is inverting amplifier vo is equal to minus rf upon ra into va plus rf upon rb into vb plus rf upon rc into vc where the ratio of feedback resistor to input resistor rf upon ra is not equal to rb upon rf upon rb not equal to rf upon rc so the circuit works as a scaling amplifier because each input is amplified by a different factor so where or each input is weighted differently at the output same inverting amplifier with multiple inputs can work as a averaging amplifier in which the sub, uh, output uh, voltage is average of all input voltages for this use all input resistors ra rb and rc of same value that is ra equal to rb equal to rc equal to r and the gain by which each input uh, voltage is amplified must be equal to one over number of inputs so gain of this uh, circuit is equal to rf upon r that is equal to 1 upon n where n stands for number of inputs so in this circuit number of inputs are 3 n equal to 3 so output voltage is minus value of rf upon r is equal to 1 upon 3 so minus into bracket va plus vb plus vc divided by 3 so this in equation indicates that output voltage is average of all three input voltage with opposite side so output is of opposite polarity with respect to input so in this way the circuit works as averaging amplifier now let us go for uh, the second uh, circuit configuration of operational amplifier uh, that is the non inverting configuration the non inverting configuration of operational amplifier can be implemented as summing or averaging amplifier by selecting a proper value for feedback resistor RF and input resistor R1. VA, VB and VC are three input voltages are applied to non-inverting input of operational amplifier using same resistors, same value of resistors R and the V1 is a voltage at non-inverting input and V2 is a voltage at inverting input. The voltage at inverting input is approximately 0 volt since inverting input is at virtual ground. So uh, value of V2 is 0 volt. So voltage at uh, non-inverting input V1 uh, can be obtained using superposition theorem. So it is a non-inverting amplifier with multiple inputs. Multiple inputs are applied at non-inverting input. So using superposition theorem, considering only one input voltage at one time 
and assuming other input voltage is zero, so voltage at V1 is equal to R by 2 upon R plus R by 2 into VA plus this circuit works as a summing or averaging amplifier. V, uh, V1 is equal to R by 2 upon R plus R by 2 into VA plus R by 2 upon R plus R by 2 into VVB plus R by 2 upon R plus R by 2 into VC. So, voltage V1 at non-eroding input is equal to VA plus VV plus VC divided by 3. So, that is hence the output voltage is given by V1 equal to the gain of non-eroding amplifier 1 plus RF upon R1 into VA1. So, voltage at non-eroding input. So, output final output voltage is equal to 1 plus RF upon R1 multiplied by VA plus VB plus VC upon 3. So, the above equation shows that output voltage is equal to gain times the average of all input voltages. Gain is equal to 1 plus RF upon R1. Thus, it operates as an averaging amplifier. Hence, the output voltage, uh, if gain is set to 1, the output voltage is equal to uh, VA, if gain is set to uh, 3, output voltage is equal to V A plus V B plus V C. Now, student can pause video here and think over the question, what are the two basic differences between inverting and non-inverting averaging amplifier? In inverting uh, averaging amplifier, output voltage is average of all input voltages with opposite sign. So, output uh, is opposite polarity with respect to uh, input, there is a sign uh, or phase reversal. In non-inverting averaging amplifier, the voltage at non-inverting input is the average of all input voltages V A, V B and V C. These are references. Thank you.